Hi everyone, it's Jen Sheffer, and in this tutorial, I'd like to show you a fantastic tool that is built into Nearpod called the Immersive Reader Tool. To enable this tool for your students and to assist them with becoming independent readers, you'll go into your Nearpod account and you'll click on your icon in the upper right-hand corner. Next, you'll click on Lesson Settings. You're going to turn on Enable Immersive Reader. Once that's turned on, you can launch a lesson in either live participation or student-paced mode, and the Immersive Reader tool will be available to your students. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Live Participation, and next I'll show you what this lesson will look like from the student perspective on their iPad. Once your students are in the Nearpod lesson, they'll see the Immersive Reader tool in the upper right-hand corner. They'll tap on that icon to open the lesson in Immersive Reader. When they tap on the play button in the bottom center, the text will be read back to them. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. We observe today not a victory of... Your students can further customize their reading experience by tapping on the voice settings to increase or decrease the speed of the voice as well as either a female or male voice. They can tap on text formatting to increase or decrease the size of the font. They can increase or decrease line spacing. They can change the font style and they can change the theme for their own personal visual preferences. They can also turn syllables on or off, which will assist with decoding. They can also enable parts of speech to be turned on. When they tap on an individual word, a picture dictionary will appear and they can tap on that word to listen to it. Victory. They can also focus on one line of text when reading, three lines of text, or five lines of text, or they can ch choose to turn line focus off. The Pictionary, excuse me, the Picture Dictionary is turned on, but if they choose to, they can turn that off. Finally, they can translate the text into their native language if necessary. And the text will be read back to them in that native language. They can do this by individual word. Puede. Or they can translate the entire document into their native language. No preguntes qué puede hacer tu país por ti, pregunta qué puedes hacer por tu país. So as you can see, this immersive reader tool is fantastic for supporting all readers in becoming more independent. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and you will enable this for your students. If you have any questions or need additional assistance, please do not hesitate to reach out to me with any questions or additional support.